Happy Holidays and Happy New Year, Aries. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and today is your yearly reading. I've already been people uh, having people ask me when they are going to come out <clears throat> and the time is now. So real quick, I'm going to switch this camera from pointing towards me over here to my tripod so you can see the cards as I lay them out in your yearly reading in just one moment. All right, so here we are. I know things are bunched up a little bit. I've moved down to a different office location here um, because my son is upstairs uh, sleeping. He's taken on a uh, night position here at some business, so he sleeps during the day. Now, before we get started with the 2022 yearly reading, let's talk about the number five year of 2021. Um, that was this last year um, with the five energy, was a, an energy of instability or change, right? Juggling freedom versus responsibility. And we are moving now into uh, the direction of greater bonds in the area of family, marriage, love, jobs, and so on. So this is a year where we're gonna feel more like or we're being nudged by spirit to accept and assume some form of responsibilities here, finding uh, that equilibrium in all relations, definitely reaching out and helping others or receiving help from others so that we can get clear about uh, victory, right? To me, the number six is all about victory. It's about uh, being constructive and optimistic, knowing that your time and effort is going to create whatever wish you want to manifest in this new chapter of 2022. So it is definitely a year to work towards something very meaningful, to create something, to put serious effort into your dreams. It is also a time to make others feel appreciated because socializing will be important in 2022. No person is an island, right? In order to grow, we need to connect with others. And as we do this year, as we find a grounded place to operate, we can leave uncertainty behind by connecting with others and finding beautiful energies of stability and peace. So when we look at the position of January here of 2022, I was guided to three different decks first, uh, to the Animal Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed and then, um, let's see, the Enchanted Map deck by Colette Baron reed and then for spiritual advice or further uh, guidance, I brought in the Energy Oracle deck by Sandra and Taylor. So the first card I saw was this Koi Fish Spirit Energy. This is trusting that uh, our ego is, I want to be famous or I want to create something in the world where everybody kind of loves me, right? This is a spirit saying you have enough, right? We're all going to, if we put time and effort in this year, are going to receive what we need day to day, money, stability, happiness, and joy. So there's definitely a big message here uh, to create a solid foundation. What are you going to create and put time and effort in day to day starting at the beginning of 2022 because there's always enough, right? You will receive what you need. You will receive many blessings. Uh, some of you at the end of 2021 uh, came into some form of commitment partnership or contract here and you were unsure as to, you know, do I keep doing what I'm building here? You know, um, will this be enough, be it professional or personal? There are singles here who are connected with someone here. This all happened for many of the collective at the end, you know, in December of 2021. And now there's this question of commitments, partnerships, or contracts. How do I create success? So we've got, check that out. We've got 36. So spirit helping you to accomplish success and victory. One plus five, moving in a direction whereby you can overcome obstacles. One plus five is six. So we have 36, six, and the number six, okay? 
so twenty twenty two is a number six year it's a time to think about contracts commitments partnerships and how you're going to create a very grounded happy energy in your life this year so in the february position we got this lion spirit energy this is beautiful this is i am going to uh, find the courage within uh, to give help care provide uh, and communicate with others this is a big year for helping others in some way right you can help guide someone without having a psychology degree so this is the courage to help others heal to heal as you do okay so february there's going to be some thinking about that there's actually going to be some form of information here um, whereby you're trying to decipher which direction you should go so in some cases your ship is kind of coming in here in january and february and you're looking at the details of what it is you desire now for some you may be coming into connection with someone here in spirit saying it's time to open your heart archangel raphael is saying as you search for clarity here have the courage to open your heart to what may be on offer here when it comes to a commitment partnership or contract so there's a lot of thinking about this from january going into february of 2022. now aries when we look at the month of march we have the pig spirit energy so i'm now seeing sevens right four plus three is seven we have 37 and eight nine ten eleven is a new path so seven is spirit saying as you continue to use your mind wisely with an open heart here you're going to find some energies of great peace in the month of march the spirit is stepping in to offer this energy of balance so it's like a doorway opened here in january and february and now spirit saying we're going to help you to rest and reflect before making a decision but keeping your heart open as you find some clarity here so there may be a moment to kind of breathe here in march when it comes to what you were working on or towards in january and february aries now in april check that out we got a number one we have a new path we have the ant spirit energies of coming into connection with others and collaborating talking about a new beginning recognizing that spirit helped for you to overcome some form of obstacles and with the magical map shifter energy has shifted you into the direction of those who by which you can collab collaborate a new beginning with so there's not so, there's not a lot of action taking place there's kind of realizations here in april of 2022 i continue to work towards some form of a commitment partnership contract i devoted uh i still continue to reach out and help others with the courage in mind that if i'm patient enough i will come into a commitment partnership or contract by april because i will realize in hindsight that as i worked on me and what i want to manifest and how i can help others is a big message here for you aries um, so too will the abundance and stability you need arrive so you may be kind of content with the realization in March that you can take a moment to breathe before you move forward into a new journey that you're thinking about in April. So when we look at the energies representing May of 2022 Aries, we have the horse spirit energy freedom. I am now free to go into the path whereby spirit was trying to guide me to recognize in April. And now in May, I'm contemplating the spirit of place where it is that I belong. When this card shows up for me, this is spirit saying you are where you were meant to be at this time. And some may be thinking about how do I free myself from certain obstacles or challenges? So it's like there's this desire to move forward here, but in some cases there's still an attachment. But spirit's saying, look at that with the freedom and uh, from attachment here, you will be able to move into the place by which you were meant to be at this time in your life path journey. So in June, we have the vulture spirit energy, the realization that all your hard work and effort helped for you to free yourself from one circumstance situation and to let go of 
maybe a part of yourself. It's almost like she's taking off her old mask and she's saying, I know where I'm going and I know that I can free myself from, you know, wearing some form of mask here because of a new direction. Okay, so wow. There's a realization in April and May. Okay, I have, I'm, I not have to. I want to collaborate with these people because I recognize that this is the direction Spirit's got trying to guide me. So I'm going to remain patient in April and May as I free myself from an attachment to a person, place, circumstance, situation. Because a new doorway is opening here. So if we do June, January, February, March, April, May, June. I'm getting, I don't know if there's a June 30th, but I'm feeling like around June 30th. There's the realization of a doorway that has opened and it's something that you manifested. It's something that you had been researching all the way back uh, to in the beginning of the year. So there's a result of some efforts and then the realization that, wow, I uh, my hard work and effort opened a new doorway for me because I am a healer. Wow. So this is also you are healing with spirit's assistance here as a new doorway opens. As you free yourself in May and June from an attachment to the way maybe that things used to be. To an attachment of trying to get a truth here when it comes to a commitment, partnership, contract, job, project, or idea. Keep your heart open and keep looking. Spirit's giving you the courage to heal during this process of discovering the next journey. So in July, we had the Panther Spirit energy. Reclaiming your power. I have healed in June and now I am sitting on a solid foundation here, both in uh, home and family and in love and career. So I'm going to sit in solitude here and I'm going to um, give thanks is what I'm hearing because I am now feeling the power. I've made my the wide, wise decisions that I needed to and I freed myself from an attachment. But there's still deep thought here. Now, it could be that you're this thinking woman or you are connecting with a thinking woman in July. Maybe craving some solitude, reclaiming your power, working on healing others. So there's definitely, I need to, you know, set hours and time and stuff for myself in July so that I can, time to sit in solitude so I can work towards what I've been working towards. So there's some major change going on around here in the first six, seven months here of 2022. And so when we move into new doorways, Aries, uh, that's when we have to kind of close the doorways on who and or what used to be. So this is where it gets really interesting. You're kind of sitting in solitude doing you in June and I mean July. And then in August, we got this Bobcat spirit energy. Life is a mystery when it comes to a man holding a coin. So this could be you. This could be someone who's financially abundant, secure, and stable, where you are contemplating a, a new path, a new direction, because you have risen above. You have been reborn. You are not who you used to be. You're stepping into a more financially abundant, secure, stable situation, or you're connecting with someone who's in one. Yeah, someone's offering money or there's money involved with a masculine or that's you. And now there's a realization here that, oh, I've got to kind of clean things up. I got to get rid of some stuff in August. I need to clean house because there's a man holding a coin here and we're rising above where we used to be. So if this has been a relationship, this has been more like instead of focusing on the negative regarding another, like many did in the number five year of 2021, this is about how can I bring that healing energy back in? And we do that by creating that bright aura from within us. I'm going to work on what fulfills me personally. And then I know that eventually um, any negativity will be cleaned up and we can then uh, move into a higher, better path. You know, one we have not experienced thus far. <sighs> so in September of 2022, we have the owl spirit energy. 
so there's this ability to see clearly but what confused me is we have the goddess of the moon now the goddess of the moon is someone who takes some time to figure out exactly what it is that he or she wants before taking action and it's being offered up with the dragon's lair energy so this is like you are where you were meant to be creating what you're creating now and eventually you are going to be going into the direction of something new so there's like a whole process happening here in September where you're manifesting something, but you're um, trying to find clarity about the direction um, that Spirit's trying to guide you. And I feel like that has to do almost like towards a new business, uh, towards a business or organization that you're working with, or towards uh, moving into just a, a new home in the direction of a new location, be it professional or personal. So in October, we have the dog spirit energy. Be loyal to what you love. Nothing has been wasted. You have reclaimed your power through this journey. Continue opening your heart to the courage of helping others. So there's a little bit of healing still going on here in October. When the protecting the treasure card shows up to me this is there is something deep within you that you are being called to share with others around you with the world around you and um there's a self-protective energy here and spirit saying be loyal to what you love so i feel like money is coming in here regarding this masculine back in august there's trying to find clarity regarding because we have a masculine holding a coin and a feminine be loyal to what or who you love and share the treasure right of your heart because you this is a year of healing and releasing this is a year of recognizing that you deserve better and more you deserve uh more finances uh, a more a better connection in business a uh, better situation or a, a better person here that you have maybe if you're single not met before so there's this contemplation from august through to october there's this healing and there's this ability to kind of wait until you have the clarity before stepping into and through uh, the direction of another here you'll know who this is uh, if this is your reading in august so in november we have let spirit be your guide with the hawk spirit energy spirit is guiding you with signs and synchronicities in november to step through this beautiful doorway again i'm feeling a business or organization because this higher better path is going to help for you to heal help for you to feel a happiness that maybe uh, you hadn't healed and let go of <clears throat> this is also for those who've been working really hard and you've been waiting you've been helping others or you've been researching and learning something and helping yourself to evolve it is definitely about sharing your gifts your talents your skills and being loyal day to day to what you love personally because that treasure from within you is what spirit's trying to guide you in the into the direction of and it's a the a path a path to personal healing and happiness and look at they confirmed this with the heal the ouch card so as you step into a new doorway here with this money with this stability with your gifts your talents your skills you're going to be realizing in hindsight that spirit led you through the doorway of something new a new direction new path building organization circumstance and uh, this whole process this year has helped you to get more clear about what you are doing day to day to bring balance into your life so this is kind of a year all the way up into september where there may be a, a need to be freed from an attachment and spirit saying we're going to help you to do so because it's time for you to step into a new doorway and heal from what used to be so in december of 2022 we have the squirrel spirit energy getting beyond the obstacles of a number five and stepping into a blessed path with a number seven 
and number 12 is about i am now moving from one path one direction into and through a connection to another or others and spirit saying all you need to do is believe in yourself think back to how you sat in solitude and you claimed your power by taking your thoughts and manifesting them into the physical world you can write this chapter this year aries as you build a new direction for yourself as you receive offers and opportunities because you're continuing to use your mind wisely claim the power of doing what you love to do big message this process is going to heal you and it's going to help for you to feel stronger about yourself okay so we've got this courage card here the lion diagonal to believe in yourself claim your power we're giving you the strength to have courage to open your heart to the details to a new direction that we're trying to guide you towards and it takes this whole year to kind of heal before you finally step into and through this doorway so i feel there's like should i or shouldn't i throughout the year and really there's a lot of messages here about taking your time to think in a patient way taking time out to meditate maybe uh, it's time to create a meditation youtube channel it's time to um, create a way to find balance so that you can help others to heal because by the end of, of 2022 this aries is feeling pretty darn confident i clarified with the energy oracle deck and we have the world card major arcana at the end of 2022 i believe in myself and i now recognize that i claimed my power i focused on the details i had the courage to up to step into this doorway and to do what i love trusting that as i share this with the world this year i will be able to be guided by spirit right with the, let spirit be your guide hawk spirit card into a doorway of personal healing and happiness where i can finally heal from the pain and anguish of my past so check this out a new portal is opening up i'm getting around the 29th of december of 2022 and there are signs and synchronicities uh, that what you've been working towards all year has indeed gone full circle and spirit is saying we're guiding you into the portal of a new beginning so be patient if you're dealing with this masculine who has money someone who is a father figure grandfather figure someone who is financially abundant secure and stable eventually uh, you're going to be cleaning your space and moving into a new direction yes use your mind wisely sit in solitude claim your power and trust that as you keep your heart open to the courage spirits trying to bring you new doorways are opening because they were meant to this process is helping you to leave the pain and anguish in the past and to trust at the end of 2022 that your efforts have indeed brought your path full circle and now you can step into the portal of some form of success so the first half is about i'm claiming my own power i'm getting clear about who and or what i want to go into the direction of i see the contemplation of new uh, directions in june and then i see um, a doorway opening up um, in november of 2022 cleaning house getting rid of things in august and september and thinking about a place at a distance open your heart to this opportunity to this connection this circumstance or situation for as you remain loyal to what you love spirit is going to guide you into a brand new world here so it's definitely starting off the year trying to find clarity of am i doing what i love and then taking the time and effort to create that helping others is a very successful direction one could go towards next if you've been working on that you are going to be guiding uh, guided to connect with others um, and start to feel very powerful especially around july so i'm going to close this reading with a message from the guardian angel deck by doreen virtue closing overall message for whichever Aries I am reading for during this general reading it is a time to heal check that out on the bottom of the deck over here 
to get beyond obstacles of the past unhealthy thoughts feelings getting back in touch with the child within now is a lucky time to slowly but surely go into the direction of some form of offer could be an offer of love could be an offer of uh, career and finance however that may apply to you so the three of thought fell out Ooh, and there's one right behind it so during this next year with the three of swords energy spirit is telling this aries that loving angels uh, surround you to heal and comfort you uh, the sadness you feel will fade away in time and then you will be able to see clearly how important this situation has been for your spiritual growth. Look at this. In September, you will see clearly that what you are manifesting will indeed um, move you into a more successful direction. So take the time you need to forgive yourself and others this year so that you can embrace your future with joy. A new world whereby spirit is guiding you to believe in yourself. So right behind that, we have the five of abundance, worries regarding finances, career. There are times when everyone needs a hand. So a good time to uh, go and give or receive healing regarding others. Um, is in June and November. As you help others, so too will positive blessings come your way. Financial abundance and stability and security will help you to heal and free yourself from an old part of yourself that you've been attached to. Your angels want you to know that you needn't go through your current challenges alone except the help of those around you. The situation you're experiencing is only temporary. So there's a major growth here personally and then like connecting out to others and making another decision to move forward with someone here. So if you're uh, single or if you've had difficulty in partnerships, um, <clears throat> remember nothing is wasted. Everything you have experienced up to this point in connection to another or in your own personal journey is leading you to come together with this man holding a coin in August and then planning as you find clarity how you're going to become this woman holding a coin. So Spirit's saying be loyal to what you love day to day because eventually as you share your treasures, your skills, uh, your exciting news with others, in October and November there's going to be the stepping through of a new direction and the realization that this was the direction spirit was guiding you to so <laughs> should you want a personal reading I do offer a one month three month six month or yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video I am still offering the fall special which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try so thank you so very much for your likes your shares and those subscribes uh, thank you so so very much as well to those of you who have continued to donate to my channel to keep it up and running take care and god bless